gentlemen and viewers at home. My talk today is entitled The Third Kind, and just like the movie, you might find this a little bit alien. Our universe that we live in is made up of different matter, different states of matter. We have solids. These are objects that have a discernible shape. We have liquids. They don't necessarily have their own shape, but they're more than happy to take the shape of a container, such as your hands. And we also have gases. Now, gases, they don't have any shape, and they don't really have any consistent volume, but they will expand to fill, once again, a container, much like a balloon. Come back to that later. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a fourth state of matter, believe it or not. Yes, there are four, and the fourth one's not really well known. And today, I have brought it with me. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth state of matter. <laughs> okay, I realize this looks like a light bulb, um, and that because it is a light bulb, um, but actually, what I'm talking about is something called plasma, and plasma actually exists within this light bulb. Now, plasma, it's very, very similar to gas. It acts the same, it looks the same, it fills a container, like this light bulb. The only difference is on a molecular level. It is composed of different atoms and as well and negatively charged electrons and positively charged particles we call cations. Now, what I'm about to show you, ladies and gentlemen, is how something called plasma, with all those negative and positive particles running around, can absorb electricity. Can I please, first off, create some static on this balloon? Yes, that's really the reason why I'm wearing this hoodie. It is not a fashion choice. It is very warm up here. <laughs> and finally, some darkness. Ooh. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, look really hard. And what you should start to see as I move the balloon closer is the bulb will start to light up. Maybe need some more friction on that. <laughs> but you should start to see, there we go, brilliant. And what you're actually seeing here is this balloon is now negatively charged. And when I get it close to the light, it sends the electrons that are floating around inside the plasma of this light. light. And they go crazy and excited, and they start running around all over the place, colliding with other particles, creating energy that we see in the form of light. Speaking of light, let's get the light back up in here. <laughs> so it's not just light bulbs that contain plasma. Plasma exists in our TV screens, and it exists in our sun. Yes, our sun is a big, burning ball of plasma. Now, plasma makes up 99% of all matter in our absorbable universe. It's just a shame it's also the most unknown one there is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fabulous, but was it illuminating enough for our judges? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I thought that was very nice, and I thought there had to be a reason for that fashion choice. <laughs> <laughs> I did I'm too. I'm so <laughs> glad. I'm so glad. I'm brave. just about to mark you down on the charisma for wearing that jumper. But luckily, you redeemed yourself with your light. Thank so you. um, I thought that was uh, that was very nice and uh, a lot of energy. <laughs> literally, Lo yeah, literally, a lot of Made energy. Um, uh, you must have had a lot to do, a lot of rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> and he can practice as much as he, he likes. Practice as yeah. much as he likes. Is that the only question he's going to get for the judges? He <laughs> uh, must have had to do a lot of rubbing. I think for a talk that had so much negativity. Hey. Oh come on! <laughs> um, you managed to keep the humour there, which is really hard, and it wasn't. Bottled. It wasn't something you'd prepared, it was very natural. So you got great stage presence. And you absolutely nailed timing. Yes, <laughs> that was really impressive. You, you ended on the quack. Yeah, yes. I, I almost need an adjudicator on that. Yes. It was <laughs> breathtaking Especially quacking. doing a live demonstration, because it's not, you did a bit of rubbing, you, you didn't get the effect, so you were there, and it might not have worked. But um, uh, you, it worked, and you got it on time. I'm so just going to point out to our judges that we're halfway through the questioning, and yet there's nothing to say so far. For <laughs> yes. Why did you choose that? Because you're Ocean Acidification Man. Yeah, um, well, there are two reasons why I picked this one. Firstly, from my regionals in Manchester, 
all my judges said they would love to see me do something different. Isn't that right, Phil? Shut up. Um, <laughs> and secondly, because I think with this being a competition about science communication, it's not necessarily about what I know and what I've researched for the last year. It's what I can communicate. And this area, physics, which is really not my strong point, um, and just being able to get that out effectively, I think, for me, I'm happy. That's really impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> One more time, please, for Phil Bell Young. Thank you.